Hey, fire signs. What's up? How you guys doing today? Welcome in. Let's see where we go here. This is for Sag, Aries, Leo. And uh, as if, you, if you'll notice, uh, because timelines are different for everybody, some people are, you know, ahead of us. Some people are behind us on this journey. So um, take a look at titles. I want to say that. The dates I put on are really just a filing system. So I want you to take a look at titles. If titles resonate for you, then that's something you might want to check out, okay? For any of the readings that I'm putting up here. All right, I'm just trying to make it... Uh, easier for you to find like a filing system <laughs> I guess that's how that works okay all right let's see where we go Aries Leo Sag feel free to swap around the characters as always I could be talking to a cross watcher be mindful of the energies this week Mercury goes into retrograde and uh, Mars is already in retrograde and then we have the new moon in Libra thankfully on the 16th about it's all about balance okay this week is all about balance Keeping your balance, getting in balance, however you perceive that to be a positive thing for yourself. Regeneration. Never ending story. <sighs> Chaos and conflict. All right, so something is coming back from the past, an old pattern, okay? An old pattern is coming back from the past. Uh, just a heads up here on the extended, I'm going to use a new Oracle deck, the Empathic Oracle. Very, very cool stuff. I used it in the air sign reading. It was really neat. So, going to do some different stuff in the extendeds. All right, let's see where we go. I will define, get more clarity on that chaos and conflict. Let's go. Let's go, babies. Let's see where we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. I could be talking to a cross watcher, just FYI. All right, let's see, let's see where we go here. All right. Ten of Swords. Didn't I just get this the other day? Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Six of Cups coming back around. Six of Cups and Four of Swords. The person's coming back around right now is about your healing. That's the purpose of this person to come back around. Okay? So don't get upset right now. Um, this could be a twin flame energy that ended badly or something ended badly. Okay? In the past. This is all, this is all like past is prologue kind of a thing. All right? So now this is about... You know, it could have been a third party. This is about looking at the situation more clearly, okay, and understanding, you know, your role in it as opposed to it's all their fault kind of a thing. Um, I feel like you're going to see, have some epiphanies about yourself, and this is clearly about healing this process, okay, because what what's happening is things are starting to speed up. All right, uh, remember I was talking about timelines. Things are starting to speed up. So you're going to have to learn faster, <laughs> okay? You're going to have to take in things and process them. And, you know, everything happens in its own time. But the time you take to assess when this person's coming back around, I'll get, a clar get clarity around that, is going to limit the chaos and conflict in the future, okay? Um, you're going to see it more clearly. You're going to be the queen of swords here. Okay. You're going to see it more clearly. You're going to see your own part in it. You're going to see what lessons you have to learn. Um, but you're going to have to be a little bit, um, pull yourself out of the, of the drama of it. Okay. So five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, temperance. Person could be a fire sign another fire sign or an air sign here. Let's see, four of wands, three of swords, king of cups. I feel like you you feel like this, um, this person, I'm definitely feeling this. They left you out in the cold. They chose to go back to, back to a water sign or they chose to, put you out in the cold in some way. All right. This is your energy Sag here. All right. I feel like they might've, um, 
gone back to somebody and they're realizing that was a dumb, the dumb thing to do. There's Libra. Five of Swords. Tower. <sighs> okay, so Fire Sign. This is going to show up very suddenly. I feel like this person um, is going to tell you they made a mistake by going back to an old partner, leaving you out in the cold. And this is destined, this person like tried to head fake destiny. <laughs> All right, they're like, head fake. <laughs> and um, destiny doesn't like that. <laughs> so um, you could feel manipulated by this. You could also feel this person is taking advantage of your good nature. And so there's a, there's a bit of a tower moment here, okay, for both of you. This could, this could come in rather suddenly. The regeneration, nine of swords, strength, lovers. I thought I overcame this. Why do I have to make this decision? I see Gemini, Libra. This person could be an air sign. And I also see water here. Um, if I get any more fire, then we'll look at another fire sign. But this feels like an air sign most potently and then secondarily a water sign. This is definitely from the past. This person left you out in the path, out in the cold. Um, there is some... I believe here this person went back to a marriage partner and that ended, okay? And so that ended with a divorce. They're divorced or they're getting divorced. And so now they're going to try to manipulate you to get back together. This, this tower energy is very, very strong. I'm going to clarify the tower right now, okay? Because that's the chaos and conflict. We can't, we can't go on until we know what this is more, more about this. King of Pentacles, Three of Cups, woo, Emperor, Hanged Man. There's the Aries, Hanged Man. Um, it seems to me that this person did not make a clear choice. They, they had choice thrust upon them, okay? And other people made decisions. Other people made decisions, and so now you or this other person, I feel like it might be, you get a new opportunity here, but it's also kind of under duress. It's like other people are, you feel, you can feel in this reading that even though you're just minding your own business, other people are creating the drama around you, right? From coming back from the past, from... Um, forcing you to look at things, forcing you to look at a relationship in the past that had ended. Why do I have to look at this? Because I feel like you might have not done all the work you need to on this pattern. Okay. And so that's why this is happening again. It can be, um, if this person shows up in your life, I feel like for most of you, it is somebody from the past. But if you have really buried that person, <laughs> the Ten of Swords is here. If you've really done that, um, I feel like there might be a, a different person showing up with the same pattern energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, same pattern energy and looking to, um, and it, you're, it's, forget about the meat suit, forget about who the person is, because I feel like this is a pattern showing up. That's why this person, you know them, you don't know them from the past or whatever, but the, it's the pattern that's important to keep your, keep your eyes on, okay? Keep focused on. I feel like you feel that other people are the ones making choices and you're the one who's having to deal with the consequences of those choices. And... That can be a tower moment, a Mars moment for you. Just like super pissed about this. Super pissed that why is everyone else making choices that impact me? How come I don't get to make the choices? And I feel like in the past, this is part of the problem is that you might have been waiting for another person to make a choice. And that's why this thing didn't go off well. So the universe is now bringing this back around 
and showing you truly when things are, are, are happening around you, you are also in charge of that. Whether you, whether you have taken action, inaction is still an, an action. Choosing not to choose is still a choice. Okay, that's still a choice. And choosing to look at another person, making another person responsible, what can be happening here is now you're feeling like everyone else is making choices, but you're still responsible for, um, for uh, manifesting this scenario, this pattern, because there's still a lesson to be learned here for you. Wow. There's still a lesson to be learned here for you. You might have felt out in the cold in the past. You might have felt like you're um, powerless, but you're not powerless. That's what this is teaching you. You felt like you created this. You did. You felt like you didn't create this, but you did. Okay. And so now it's about understanding how to see things from a different perspective, how to release and let go of this pattern because it's creating con conflict and chaos. Part of the pattern is I'm not responsible for other people's, uh, you're not responsible for other people's choices, but you are responsible for what you're manifesting in your life. And so you can choose by not choosing, by not choosing, you've chosen. You've chosen a path that is like, I'm not responsible for this, or this is the other person's choice or something like that. But you're responsible for bringing in a situation that's going to show you the same pattern. You got me? Yeah. Phew. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. I will use this very cool new deck, this empathic Oracle. I very much liked it when I used it in the air reading. So we'll do that again. Um, I'm going to get some more clarity around this situation and this tower. I feel like this could have something to do with the third party. Some choice that was made here. Okay. All right. So the link is below if you want to continue on with me. Um, I will get more clarity as we go along and I will see you on the other side.